Come on in, welcome to my home. Today we are going to make roasted oat bites. These are really simple, three ingredients, which are all listed down below in the description. Uh, now here's the cool thing about this. You don't have to take this first step. When the first step is roasting the oats. Well, actually sort of more like toasting the oats. What I do is I have my oats in a frying pan. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to dump my old-fashioned oats. Those are not quick oats. Those are not steel-cut oats. They are old-fashioned oats. The reason is steel-cut oats are like, I find them like to be like little chunks or little like nibbles. Um, quick-cut oats are just chopped up old-fashioned oats. You want the whole old-fashioned oats because we're going to take these over to the stove. Put the heat on medium, medium high, and then just Toast them until they're in a, like lightly golden brown. Then we'll come back and finish this up. It goes really, really quick. cool for a few seconds and then I'm going to take my peanut butter it's pretty liquid but it's not as liquid as it could be and that is all natural peanut butter you can use whatever your favorite all natural peanut butter is then I'm going to add our maple syrup get the best tasting maple syrup that you can get if these are really liquid you can just, oh, this is stirring together much better than I thought it would. All right, once these are combined, I'm going to add my still warm oats. Mm, that looks really good. Now to make mine just really easy to make, I'm using a cookie scoop, putting them in the cookie scoop. They are still warm, rolling in my hand, and putting them on the tray. You can make these whatever size you want. They smell really, really good. Uh, things that you can add to this, you could very easily add pecans, peanuts, realistically, almost anything, coconut. Just make sure whatever you're gonna add does not add extra moisture. All right, I'm gonna stick these into the freezer just to have a little set up. I think I'm gonna taste one right now. Those are really good. I mean, those are really, really good. But let's let them set up. These have firmed up. I'm gonna put them in this little tiny bowl that could have been bigger, but hey. <laughs> now I'm gonna keep mine in the refrigerator. You don't have to, you could put them out on the counter, as long as it doesn't get too hot. If it gets too hot, they will get really, really soft. But let's give these a taste right now. Those are so good and peanut buttery and the oat and the maple syrup, it's like amazing. I am actually surprised at how good these are. Be nice and um, nice like energy kind of thing. They're really quick bites. You can make them in no time. And no, you don't have to toast the oats. You can do it just regular. I just like the extra oat taste to it. <sighs> these are really good. Now, if you make these, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I get to see you the next time you stop by.